Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. So I am finally gonna show you how to do my minis. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that my first mini, I did this Snow White at five inches. I mean, she's tiny. She still fits in, you know, in my hand. Um, and I chose five inches because I felt that with the eyes, I couldn't, they were so small as well as her mouth area that I thought five, ooh, oh, a piece just came off. Um, I thought five inches was all I can do. And then I went, I did it. It looked good. The small pieces were a little bit difficult to handle, but still workable. And the thing looked really cute. Um, but I went to bed and I thought about it and I came up with a new process. So then I did Jasmine at four inches. So I took off a whole inch. I mean, that's kind of a big deal when you're talking about five inches, right? And then it worked. I went back to Snow White and did Snow White at three inches. So I'm gonna show you how to do the three inches. It's so funny how um, different the process is and what we're looking for um, when we're doing minis. The minis is the opposite, duh, right, of my large off the mat projects. Because when I'm looking at off the mat projects, I sort of want the different components and the layers because that will allow me to have a seamless, as seamless as possible because then each piece can technically be as big as 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches. On a mini, what I want are really, I don't want, I want just big pieces because obviously as a mini, even at three inches, a big piece is still super teeny tiny, right? So this is what we, this is what we have. So let's just get started. Um, I'm gonna do three inches and then I'm gonna zoom in just so that we could see it. So let's do this. So the easy things like her bow, her hair bow, is at three inches, we really want that hair bow to be one piece and not the, what is that, five pieces that it's in. Um, let's see, what else do we wanna do? Um, so looking at the red, we definitely wanna, like I said, go from five pieces of the bow down to one. We want this to be one piece that's easy for us to pick up, glue, put down, and not be dealing with like, uh, I don't know, like a little chip, right? Same thing with the lips. So if you see the lips are in two pieces, um, I would want to extend that lip out so that the lip is actually one piece. And then the white for her teeth, instead of it being a small piece, we're gonna slice out that white from the lips. And then that way, uh, it'll make sense, but that th that's really the main thing. And then we're gonna be slicing out the eyes. So let's just get started because I think the more I talk about it, it sounds way more complicated <clears throat> than it actually is. All right, so let's ungroup this and deal with the white, or the red, sorry. All right, so here's the red, and I think I need to zoom in even more than this because I wanna make it perfect. Okay, so. What I wanna do is I'm gonna bring in a circle and um, let me make the circle small. It's like really hard right now because everything's so big because I zoomed in so much. But if you wanna just get like an idea, right? This is two inches. So that means this hair bow is maybe one inch. Um, wide, definitely way smaller um, in the height. So here's our circle. We're gonna make the circle really, really small. And we kind of, I didn't really do a good job of it um, when I welded it the first time, but it is so small that even though, though I didn't do a great job with it, you can't even tell because the the detail is so small. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab this and you wanna make it even smaller. I want to basically cut, do that. 
I'm gonna add this in here and weld it so that instead of it having like a little tail, it's gonna be attached to my bow. And then I'm gonna duplicate that circle because I also want it on this side. I wanna connect these two pieces right here. Then um, I'm gonna want another one because I'm gonna want to connect my middle bow. Now when I did my middle bow the first time, I made the connection really small. It was very delicate. I almost feel like I think what I want to do is just give it the, the little dent that it goes down to give that shape, but not worry about, um, about keeping the details there other than that. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I think this is the best that I'm going to get for the bow. So it's going to have you know, for the bow, it's gonna have that little thing and then a little circle for the for the middle. So now what you wanna do is you wanna grab this and you wanna weld it. So it still looks like the bow. I mean, honestly, on this little thing, it, it it's the bow, it's Snow White. There's no way that you would think differently. So um, it does look like it has a little bit of a hole right there. What I would do is I would go to contour and get rid of it because I don't want my paper to rip and I just don't want any issues right there. So see that little, those little indents, we don't need those. No one's gonna notice the details. So now it's just one full piece. It's gonna cut on the outside. It's gonna look great. Okay, let's look at the lips. So we wanna do the same thing to the lips. The lips are a little bit more difficult because we wanna make sure We want to just get it at the outer edges right here. We want to make sure that it connects the lips. And I almost want to unlock it and make it a little bit flatter and then get it in there. And again, this lip is so small. Don't worry about like a little bit of a curve where it shouldn't be or anything like that. Okay, so I just duplicated that. I wanna put it on both ends and maybe make this one even smaller. Okay, I mean, we can barely see it right now on the screen, right? Okay, so I'm gonna weld that. Okay, so not the best of the lips, but I promise you, no one's gonna notice it. This thing is so teeny tiny. The rest of this looks good. So what we wanna do right now is we wanna slice this apart. So let me zoom out for a second. I mean, technically, I mean, look at this whole thing is 2.3 inches by almost three inches. So let's just slice it out so that we can smush it together. It's a nice little piece. Okay, so let's, let's slice out this first. Then we're gonna slice out the other side. Remember when you're slicing, you're slicing two items at one time. Now I wanna, I like showing this because this is still in here, but my mouse, my cursor is only picking up the red here and this part of the, of the square. It's not picking up this extra piece. So I only picked up two items and so I'm able to slice. If you go to slice, and you don't have the option to slice, then you either picked up more than two items or you only have one item. So here's my lips and here's my um, square, right? I'm gonna slice. And now you can really see how big everything is. So I'm gonna delete this. We don't need any of the slice results. So let's look at the lips. The lips is 0.5 by 0.2. It's teeny tiny. Now I'm keeping this one because what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go to contour. I'm going to hide all and I'm going to turn that into white. So what will happen is 
this look how big the white piece is now right so instead of like the small little piece that we would have had to deal with for the teeth it's now going to go behind the lips so let me move this to the front and so my lips are going to sit on top the teeth are going to show through the gap, but the teeth aren't going to be teeny tiny. It's going to be as big as the lips, and it's going to be so much easier to put together. So I hope that makes sense right there. That's kind of like the big step for one. Okay, um, the buckle, easy peasy, that's going to cut. Okay, now what we want to do is on the white, we want to, let's see, let's duplicate the white. And we'll move this one over here the these shoulder pieces are totally fine right so let's contour and get rid of all those pieces so we're gonna hide all and I want these two pieces so here's the little like collar thing and then on this white one I'm gonna go to contour and I'm going to hide the two big pieces the reason is because I want to slice out this white from the black background, okay? So our skin, we can just move the skin out of the way. The skin is all good. Um, I mean, look at the whole thing is one and a half inches by 2.3. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and grab the white. So it, over here, I'm selecting the white and then I'm also selecting the black background and I'm gonna slice. So that um, you see like the white is going to just cut through and we can just have a big piece back here, a big white piece back here that will, um, uh, that will be easier to handle than these little dots. So I want to see if I can show you. Oh, so if you see, this is the back. The white piece is just a big rectangle. It's so much easier than imagine those little, little dots, right? Okay, um, so we've got that out of the way. Um, how did I do? So let's look at this. So that's all good. Uh, let's grab the eyes. So from the eyes, we don't need, uh, what do we need? We need to make, we'll make the rectangle from here. So this will be easy. I'm gonna unlock it and I'm just gonna smush it like this. I kinda just wanna keep it in this, you know, where the eyes are. Um, now we don't need the the teeth because the teeth is already over there with the lips right so I'm just going to hide that okay so this piece I'm just gonna weld it just to make it easy because I don't want to delete and all that stuff so that's white that's gonna be my eyes okay what I need to do is let me think about this how did I do okay and then the brown the brown, how did I do the brown? Let me think. Oh, the brown, what I did was, I'm gonna take this out. Um, we don't need any of this. Okay, so the brown, what I did was, this is what I did. I'm gonna grab, um, See how it has that hole? That hole in the middle is for the black. So this is what I wanna do. I'm gonna make this smaller, okay? And I'm going to slice this out. So these two pieces, I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna hide all. Um, oops, that's not what I want. Contour. I want, that's what I want. I want both eyeballs. These are gonna be black. No, contour. I want the actual inside. Sorry, 
So I want not these two, but I want these two there. That's gonna go on the inside of my brown rings, okay? Now my brown rings, I can actually make them really big. I can fill them in. So this one I'm gonna contour, <clears throat> excuse me. So what's gonna happen is the browns are gonna cut really big or bigger. The black is gonna go inside like this, which leaves us that little ring of brown, but not so delicate because we cut it this big. And then the inside is you know, big enough that the black can cut and we can place it inside. So all of our delicate pieces are actually now no longer delicate. The white is a slit in the black right here and it's actually gonna be this. This is gonna sit behind it and that's what's gonna give the white shining through. Then we're gonna stick these two on top of everything and then this on top of the brown to give us all those layers, those teeny tiny layers of the face. And let me bring it back in so you can see what that looks like. I know it's, it sounds so crazy, but this is the best way to do it. So just think, I mean, look at how small the three inches is. It's the inside of my palm. And look at how big she was. Ignore the white piece that just fell off. But it went from like my whole hand to the inside of my hand. And the inside of my hand, this one has better details around the eyes because I didn't lose anything. Um, everything is bigger right here. And let me make this smaller so we can actually see what she looks like. So now when you see, the white is actually gonna come through um, from behind, from the black. So you see how like crazy this is? It's so good, right? Um, all right, that's all that there is to it. So let me know what you think if you do this, but I would say three inches is as small as, I mean, look at how small it is. <laughs> Here, I'll put, put them next to each other now. Look at how teeny tiny, right? I mean, when I did this, I was like, oh my gosh, she's such a mini at five inches, but look, it's even smaller. So you always just wanna think about the process. Look at Jasmine, Jasmine has all the details and I'll show you the back. So the back is her eyes and you see how it has like the little rectangle. That's what you need to do to capture the details of her eyes and the little specks of white in there. So, all right, let me know what you wanna see, comments, questions, uh, special requests, all of that in the comments, please, and I appreciate you as always. Bye.